Have you ever taken a course of antibiotics? Those little capsules you swallow to fight off an infection? They seem so simple, yet within them lies a fascinating story of cellular warfare. Today, we're diving deep into the world of antibiotics, uncovering the ingenious ways they combat the microscopic invaders that threaten our health. But before we explore the heroes, let's meet the villain's bacteria. These tiny single-celled organisms are everywhere, both beneficial and harmful. The bad guys, the ones that make us sick, are incredibly adaptable and reproduce rapidly. They can infiltrate our bodies through cuts, scratches, or even just by breathing in contaminated air. Once inside, they wage a microscopic war, stealing our nutrients and releasing toxins that make us feel miserable. Thankfully, we have champions in our corner antibiotics. These wonder drugs are like tiny knights in shining armor, specifically designed to target and defeat bacteria. But they don't all fight the same way. There are four main classes of antibiotics, each with a unique weapon in its arsenal. Imagine bacteria living in a brick castle. This sturdy wall, called the cell wall, protects them from the outside world. The first class of antibiotics, the penicillins and cephalosporins, act like siege weapons. They disrupt the enzymes bacteria use to build their cell walls, leaving them weak and vulnerable. Picture a battering ram or a mace pulverizing the castle walls. Without this vital protection, the bacteria simply burst open and die. Bacteria are constantly building new proteins to grow and repair themselves. It's like a massive factory churning out essential components. The second class of antibiotics, protein synthesis inhibitors, like aminoglycosides, tetracyclines, and chloramphenicol, are like mischievous gremlins on this assembly line. They bind to ribosomes, the machinery responsible for protein production, essentially throwing a wrench in the works. With protein production halted, Bacteria can't grow or repair themselves, and they eventually die off. Every living thing needs to copy its genetic material to reproduce. Bacteria are no different. The third class of antibiotics, nucleic acid synthesis inhibitors like fluoroquinolones, target this critical process. They work by interfering with enzymes involved in DNA replication. Imagine a document being copied, but every time a key sentence is reached, something goes wrong and it can't be copied properly. This disrupts the bacteria's ability to replicate, stopping them in their tracks and preventing them from spreading the infection. The final class of antibiotics, membrane disruptors like polymyxins, are like party crashers. The bacterial cell membrane acts as a gatekeeper, controlling what enters and leaves the cell. These antibiotics essentially punch holes in this membrane, causing a cellular breakdown. Imagine a bouncy castle with a giant tear in it, Everything leaks out, and the structure crumbles. This disrupts essential cellular functions, leading to the death of the bacteria. Importance in Chinese antibiotics are powerful tools, but with great power comes great responsibility. Overuse or misuse of antibiotics can lead to antibiotic resistance, a serious public health threat. When bacteria are constantly exposed to antibiotics, they can evolve ways to resist their effects. This means the antibiotics become less effective, making it harder to treat infections. Remember, only take antibiotics when prescribed by a doctor. Take the full course of antibiotics, even if you start to feel better. Never share antibiotics with others. Don't pressure your doctor for antibiotics for a viral infection. Antibiotics only work on bacteria. The next time you take an antibiotic, Remember the tiny battle happening inside your body. These wonder drugs are a marvel of modern medicine, but their effectiveness depends on us using them wisely. So let's be responsible and ensure these heroes can continue to defend us against the microscopic invaders for generations to come. Did you find this video informative? Have you ever taken antibiotics? Share your experiences in the comments below and leave a like if you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe for more educational content about how our bodies work.